I don't know. Here we are. What are we on? Vlog number eight? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, vlog yeah, number yeah. eight. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good entrance, wasn't it? Yeah. So, vlog number eight. Me and Shane, remember? Charlie fizzled out about six weeks in, didn't he? That's what he, <laughs> he does, doesn't fatigued, he? He's he? fatigued. He's calling it fatigued. <laughs> Captain Recharge fatigue, big style. So we are in physiques and shapes. We'll show you around it in a bit. But what are we training? Legs. Oh, leg wait. day. Oh, my leg day now. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so Shane's heavier than me, right? Which means he should be stronger than me. So we're gonna put the weight up, really rack it up, make sure he's lifting some big weight, put him for his paces, because normally you do, what type of training do you normally do? What with Charlie? Yeah. Uh, like posing. And... <laughs> Apart from posing. Well, we normally do full body, don't we? But yeah. a lot of delt raises. Yeah. No, no. So he's got capped not shoulders. Like, not as big as this. Not, yeah. Not as specified as this. So we're going to do legs today. We're going to put for his paces. So we'll video all the content. And afterwards, you're going through a little Q&A because you've got to ask a load of questions. Yeah. And he's going to finish off with that guy. So if you want to go straight to the Q&A, skip straight to that. There'll be a like, time, we'll put a time on the edit bit. Don't skip. Yeah, don't skip to it, but don't skip the session. <laughs> don't skip the painful faces. You're going to see them all, right? The jaw's going to be getting wonky, that kind of thing, all right? It's all going on, okay? Yeah. Hey, let's wear wonky than normal, yeah. So let's show you around a minute. So we've got, ba bang. All this kit in here. Look at that. This is what you call a proper gym, all right? It's got plate loaded kit. That's what it's got, and it's got a load of equipment. So then we go on through. We've got Shane, obviously, everyone knows Shane. Me. There you go. Me. And then you come on through here, and you've got an even bigger area. We will be using that. We will be using that. And you've got this area here. And quite possibly, Shane will be crying in this corner here. That's like I was last week, hiding. Hiding for the gram. There you go. Hat squat, right? That's what you do. Trust it, okay? So basically, back to his flat against it, stand straight. And then literally bring your feet forwards. It'll feel really weird. Weight's always in the heels, right? I always keep my feet just inside those two um, silver pins. And it's sort of bad. And then you just go down. Mate, you're stronger than this. Come on, let's go. You can push weight for fun. He's not as good looking as Charlie though, is he? I don't think he's realised I'm not actually filming him. Filming him. So normally I say we're not going to do any isolation exercises, fat loss, and I still stick to that. However, it's my training session, right? And it's about me in this session. <laughs> Shane's joined in. I couldn't care less what he's doing. No, I'm joking. We're just doing something different, mix things up a little bit. However, if I was going fat loss, I stick with compound, lunges, squats, all that kind of stuff. But it's because it's something different. We're doing a superset. So what he did was he went from leg extensions. So that machine there. So when he sat on now, resting on. All right, we do 12 and 12. I've just put Luke through his paces. Look at him, he's fatigued. Is that recording or not? You haven't got to record. He's like, look, what's that button in, you knob? <laughs> he's fatigued, look. Caught it. Yeah. I was gonna... He's battered. Loving. I'm something, yeah. I'm battered. I did 1400 <laughs> calories today with Luke, physiques and shapes. Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? How did you find it? It's got his flip reversal, yeah. I talk a lot, don't I? So I just thought I'd keep quiet on this one. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was hard. Yeah. So we did, like, basically, we did legs first of all, and then we ran onto arms because I'm selfish, and basically I just wanted to build my arms up. I've got a tiny little pipe cleaner, so. And Creamfields is coming in it. It's Creamfields this weekend. So I was trying to get a little pump on. Try and get a shape for Creamfields, but it ain't gonna work, is it? Because I need to improve on this. Anyway, ignore him. <laughs> so uh, yeah, here we are, like little update today, because he made me do a weigh-in last week after a heavy weekend, which I don't think was fair, and I'll have moan like hell. But we're down to 149 kilos, 0.8. So that's now, what, 14 and a half kilos gone in, Fine, well, in eight weeks. So Imagine if you had a good trainer as well. If you had a good trainer, you might be on 20 kilos. You never know, yeah, you see? So yeah, so obviously, get yourself on to Luke Hater, have a go. He'll do all the hard work for you. Did you say get yourself on to Luke and have a go? Yeah, go have Luke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have a go with Luke Hater. Any females out there, have a go. All men, <laughs> it's not messy. So, obviously yesterday I did my training with Luke 
um, at Physiques and Shapes and my legs are killing me. I did like 1400 calories in just over an hour or something and he absolutely battered me. It's horrible. So the second part of this, unfortunately Luke and Charlie have gone to Creamfields or going to Creamfields today. So they couldn't be a part. This was going to be kind of like a live Q&A. Um, so what we've done is we've sent out messages on social media to people saying, right, ask your question. The first question I had was, have I tried any other diets? Yes. Uh, yes, I have. I've tried um, Slimmer World. Slimmer World worked. Now, I lost two and a half stone, this is two or three years ago, on Slimmer World. The second I stopped eating Slimmer World food, that was it. The weight piled back on. Slimmer World doesn't work for me. It's great, but for certain people, but you know, it's too restrictive for my liking. Just too restrictive and not transparent enough. I like things transparent and there's that how have I achieved my weight loss well basically I'm tracking my calories um, I'm training working out six days a week um, hitting my 10,000 12,000 steps a day most days I don't always hit them on my rest day um, because sometimes I am just too knackered again just making sensible choices really um, what was the worst food that I used to find I used to snack on bread absolute bread monster I was um, not now I, I don't really eat bread now because it's so calorific um, well it's not massive you know, it's 100, 100 calories a slice and the way I see that it's 200 calories um, for just two slices of bread without even putting anything in it um, and that to me I kind of I prefer to have a Mars bar or a whisper gold or something like later on in the day which is kind of around the same calories so it's just about making choices you know do I want bread or do I want you know chocolate and we all like chocolate uh, my favorite gym partner <laughs> Charlie Hannum gotta be um, love the lad pieces he's top bloke Charlie he's learning well Luke is teaching him really really well he's got a long way to go but he's yeah I enjoy working out with him. He's he's really proud of what I'm doing. I like to think he is anyway. He's he's interested. He's knowledgeable, uh, and he's just generally a nice bloke. Um, but I train with lots of people. Um, Shannon, Eilish, Marie was coming up. But yeah, Charlie boy, you hold my heart, mate. Right. Is there any exercises I enjoy the most? I must say I do enjoy a spinning session. I do enjoy that. So many people are so anti-spinning and oh my god it's hard. Yeah it is. I, I do enjoy that. That's my favourite cardio. At the gym I like to deadlift. But I think my all-time favourite obviously, I think Charlie knows what it is, is the delt raises. Just, oh, any form of delt raises Charlie. Oh, lovely jubbly. My least favourite <laughs> exercise. Apart from the hack squat yesterday, I don't like that bloody thing. I hate squats of all kinds. Now, I kind of have to remind myself that obviously when I'm squatting, if I'm squatting 80 kilos on the bar, I've still got 140 odd kilo of me to push up. So in theory, I'm kind of pushing 240 kilos. So that's quite a lot of weight. Um, I do it and you know, Jai Jai's been helping me out. I have a new body. He's been really good and he's kind of helped me with some decent technique. So yeah, I just don't like squats. I don't think anybody really likes squats, do they, to be honest? Do I drink alcohol? I do, but this 12 weeks I haven't uh, on this, tra on this um, challenge, transformation. Um, I'm not a big drinker, so I'm really lucky. Um, but when I do drink, I drink stupid amounts. I I've got no kind of, no filter on it really, but I drink cider as well. So you think 250 calories a pint, I can easily do 10 pints a night. I don't know about now, actually, because I'm like, Quite a lot lighter, so I don't know whether I can hack it. But yeah, I, I kind of—I'm going to the steam fair tomorrow, and I'm, I really could murder a pint now. I know I've been asked not to by Luke, but life's too short in it. I might have to have one solitary pint of cider. I probably won't, but it's there. It's in the back of the mind. Right, next question: How much do I drink a day? I've got this massive bottle. It's like this two-liter bottle. I drink two of those a day of water at least, and you know, Pepsi Max or something. Uh, something zero, so you yeah, at least two, four, uh, two, two liters. This is four liters a day. Milestone and goals. So my goal this morning when I got up on, I got up on the scales. I was 23 stone seven. Um, 
it's January the 2nd, I was 29, 29 stone 10, so I'm just slightly over the moon. My target is to be kind of 20 stone or below for the wedding when I get married in January. I'm gonna be wearing a kilt, so I just wanna be really working stupidly hard to, to look as good as I can, really. That's where I wanna be. After that, two weeks in Orlando, courtesy of my wonderful parents. Two weeks in Orlando, so I will be sensible, but I don't I want them on honeymoon, I don't care. After that, it will be full on, full pace, training hard. Um, ultimate goal, I don't know, really wanna be around the 15, 16 stone. Um, and then eventually my kind of, my thought process now is turning to how I can help others. I'm loving people messaging me all the time asking me what I'm doing and can I help them and I think ultimately I'd like to make a career out of it eventually I know I've got a stupidly long way to go but why not eh and uh, I know who I would listen to you know on a, on a weight loss advice would I listen to somebody who's been skinny all their life or would I listen to somebody who was overweight all their life to now not being overweight obviously I'm not there yet but I will get there right question from Luke himself what made me change and want to lose weight? I tell you what, Luke, what made me change? I completely just didn't go anywhere near scales for six months or so on purpose because I think I know the damage I was doing to myself and I was terrified. And then it's that whole new year, new me thing. And I wanted to do it. I ate cleaner than I normally do at Christmas time. But I got on the scales and I was mortified. Now, um, a very good friend of mine, um, and my, well, she's my boss. She was keeping, you know, saying to me, "You should, you should come to hit. You should come to spin. You should do this." And I kept kind of keeping her at bay for a long time, and then eventually I kind of gave in. But right, let's have a go at this hit class. What's it about? Um, and I went to the first one. Couldn't walk down the stairs. It was quite funny for two days after. And I rang Luke. Said, "Luke, I've been paid." And he laughed and said to me, "You know, it's called." delayed onset muscle soreness just get on with it really man up so it was great did that went back and loved it and that's what turned it for me have i found it hard is another question Ooh. um yes and no the hardest part for me was changing that mental um awareness of the, the crap i was eating changing my mindset i was spinning i've been spinning for over a year now and for the first six months of spinning i I don't know how many times I'd go spin it and then go straight to the kebab house afterwards. You know, and I'd just like, I'd just sit there thinking, I've just I've done everything I've just did. And then in my head I'm going, no, no, it'd be all right. It's stupid, isn't it, really? Now I've cracked that mental thing. No, I don't find it hard at all. I find it harder if I don't go. I just go, sometimes if I just go to the gym and I literally do half an hour and 500 calories burnt or something, that's better than nothing. You know, other days I do an hour and a half. I love it. The training I'm doing, so um, on a Monday and a Thursday I go to HIT training. Uh, on a Monday as well I go straight to spinning after I leave HIT training. Straight for an hour spin. I actually really enjoy Mondays, they're the best ones. Um, I'm knackered, uh, but I love it. Tuesday night is gym night, Wednesday is spinning. Um, I can't do it the other way around though, I can't go spinning and then the gym. But I could go to the gym and then spinning. Don't know why. Thursday is HIT night, back to the gym. Friday is PT session with Charlie Boy. Saturday, Sunday, um, yeah, gym or my bike. I try and get a rest day in somewhere every week. Did I feel nervous about being a big lad and trying to lose weight? Yeah, I did. Um, it was horrible. You come to say hello? Hello. You stand around here, won't you? Because I can't see you there. Do. Sit up here. Say hello. This is my hello. dwarf. So this is Ebony. She's my stepdaughter and I love her to pieces. You're proud, aren't you? You're happy? Yeah. She's been really supportive of my weight loss. She's been noticing lots of changes, haven't you? What changes have you noticed? Why don't you tell everybody? Your tummy's you have to look. Shane's tummy's got smaller. Yeah, what else? And his arms and stuff are more muscle here. Got more muscles, yeah? Yeah. And how about me? Am I happier now or am I... Happier. And what about you? I'm happy for you. You're happy for me. Well, thank you very much. Was I nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. Yeah, walking into that hit class the first time was horrible. It was awful. 
because I was like, oh my god, I've actually got to run, I've got to do stuff. But everybody's so welcoming there. There's, there's such an eclectic mix of people. There's like every style of person you can imagine, old, young, fat, thin. Um, you know, and everybody's so welcome and so awesome. And obviously Hit Train and Luke can adapt everything for me without making you feel body conscious because he's so Luke's got a way the way to anyone that knows him he just he talks at 350 mile an hour so he doesn't make a big fuss about it you know it's right you do this here's a check if burpees for example I can't do burpees Shane you use a chair and that's all he says he doesn't need to stand there and go use the chair Shane because you're overweight and you're gonna struggle and it's gonna hurt he just tells you get on with it and it's short sharp fast so you kind of you lose that nervousness so yeah no now no don't care body conscious when I went to the gym the first time in a vest that was really Really worried now I don't care I don't go anywhere I don't ever go to the gym without a vest now because I don't care because I like to see my body working I like to see my muscles moving um, and it's a good sign for me that things are going in the right way you know and I'm, I'm kind of not wanting to see these physical changes I was talking a little yesterday I want to start to see traps I want to start to see that sort of stuff um, and I am slowly so I'm gonna work a lot harder on my shoulders and my chest and, and other areas but not quite yet obviously I'm just doing weight loss and heavy compounds at the moment so hopefully that naturally come I stay motivated look with um, where is she her over there um, and Leo my stepson um, I want to be around you know to see them grow up really I don't want to be I want a kid of my own one day as well but I actually want to enjoy my life I don't want to be body conscious um, and that's what motivates me really is the, the fact that I'm far happier and I can do a lot more with them and I'll be here longer that's what motivates me mate so yeah I mean work work training lifestyle home style is very hard um, my wife-to-be is um, a carer for her grandma so her days are taken up looking after her she's also a mobile nail technician and she's always out and about doing stuff so I go to the gym after work or go to my training, I come back, I cook their dinner, um, I make sure they've all got a good nutritious meal in them and we have some times together. Quite often to be honest, like if I go into the gym in the morning, I just leave her in bed, I go early morning. Done then isn't it, by the time I'm home, she's up, I have a quick shower or whatever and we go out and we do what we need to do. Final question Luke's asked me is have I cut out sugary foods? Um, no. Yeah, I do eat them. I'm not going to lie, I had an ice cream a minute ago, Babu, um, and I said it on my Insta store and I say it again now. I haven't tracked that, that Babu ice cream because the way I see it, if you can't live your life and have a little bit of what you want, what's the point in living? I'm out at West Bay, Mel Plus Show Day, it's lovely and quiet, with my child. We're having a lovely day. If I can't have an ice cream and enjoy it with her, what's the bloody point in living? So I haven't tracked that. You heard it right here. But no, I'm, what I've done is I've, I've limited the amount of sugary foods. So any fizzy drinks I drink is all diet or zero. Um, I don't go out of my way to eat sweets and crap and chocolate. I'll tell you what I do buy once a week. I buy the packets of four chocolate bars, like Mars bar, Snickers, Whispers, whatever. They go in the fridge for the days I want them. They can last me up to 10 days, it's one at a time. I'm not bothered about sugary drinks, to be honest, sugary foods. Have I changed much in my routine and how do I stick to it or is it hard to stick to? Yes, I have Charlie. My routine changes all the time. I cannot stand doing the same stuff. So that's why the PT sessions are great. I love to do these PT sessions in different gyms, different bits of equipment, learning all the time, adapting. I change my routine a lot. I was doing full bodies and I spoke to Luke yesterday. Um, last couple of weeks I've split the body, you know, I've done upper half, bottom, you know, bottom half. And I'm enjoying that. Yesterday I did legs, so I'm really sore today. But I'm going to go up to the gym in a bit. I'm going to do some upper body. And then I've got hit training tonight. I like that split. And then what I'm going to do is do the full bodies on PT days with Charlie Boy. What would I recommend to people in the same boat? I would recommend anybody that wants to lose weight. I would not use things like Slimming World, Keto Diet, all that rubbish. All they're doing is selling you a calorie deficit just wrapped in different wrapping basically um, that's all you're doing okay these diets they all work the same way they just don't tell you at least with calorie counting you know exactly where you are you know exactly what you're doing and i would also recommend you get yourself into these classes you've got steve turner steiner spin 
obviously if you're local um, and then you've got Luke Hater Fitness um, and they offer online support they offer the classes everything you need and I recommend that you follow your calories do not drop your calories because you think you're gonna burn more uh, don't make that mistake that I made you know whatever your calories they're told you're told to eat eat them and just reduce very small and work hard work your ass off if you're having a takeaway that's fine track it reduce the next day I know some foods are really hard to track almost impossible you know how can you track a Chinese but well, you can't you know I just work it out if if I was to have a Chinese this week I would take 500 calories off for the rest of the week every day easily do two and a half thousand calories in the Chinese couldn't you I don't know depends what you have just a lot of fried food and a lot of rubbish in it and obviously anybody who wants to know anything can message me and I'll help you with anything but the last question Charlie Charlie boy wants to know is has my sex life improved don't really know how I can answer that Charlie you have to ask your mum or your sister not your sister your missus that's all I can say to you really Charlie boy yeah you dirty bastard dirty dirty Captain Recharge bastard anyway I'm sorry I'm gonna boil I hope they don't put that in there hopefully that just go in the outtakes or something because that's grim in it anyway um, thanks for the love again I'm gonna go and take my dwarf for a little walk now and I'll speak to you later <laughs>